Good morning, it's Wednesday morning, day before party day, so I have been up for a little while now. Luke had another great night. I feel like every morning I need to update you guys. He went down, I mean we got home late, so I like fed him again and put him down at like 11.30. Um, he slept till 5 a.m., so that was really great. And then now he's still sleeping. I fed him and he just kept sleeping. Um, so I got up, I threw in laundry, made my coffee and edited. Uh, which has been so awesome to have these videos done and not have to do them over nap time And then I just made the girls breakfast. I'm gonna go sit down and have breakfast with them But I just wanted to get this going and then I just um, Was showing Evie the party city website so that she could see all the different uh, pinata options We kind of narrowed it down. So that's the plan. We need to go out to party city pick out a pinata and get just like paper plates and cups and then go to Home Depot. We have azalea bushes in the front of our house, but they haven't bloomed yet. They're like, the buds are there, but they haven't opened yet. So I was really hoping they would be open and then I could just use those to decorate with. But I think I might just pick up a few annuals or something inexpensive to cheer up the house a little and outside. We have to go out and go to Party City and Home Depot and be back by 12 because I have an Aldi delivery coming and I ordered all of the party food um, and pretty much everything we need last night at like midnight. So all that is ready to go. We're gonna get that delivered to the house. That takes one thing off of my you know, to-do list, you know, one store that I don't have to go to now and bring all three kids to. So that was, that's helpful. I might have another cup of coffee because I already finished it, but I wanna have some with my breakfast. So I might do that. And it's day before party day. So there's a lot to do. We gotta make cupcakes. We got a lot of things to do. So it's gonna be a busy day. So sometimes my to-do lists look like this, but sometimes they look like this. And this is from yesterday. They have that library program today where you read to the books. So we might be doing that. To the, yeah, read to, <laughs> read to the dogs, yes. Not read to the books. Yes! <laughs> All right, first that stop is Party like, City. Which one do you like? The dinosaur. The dinosaur? He's cute. Oh, there's a cute so ice cream. Dinosaur. Look how many there are. So how are you supposed to? Fine. Up. They're at the tops of every single aisle, Evie. Oh, no. All right, so I think we're gonna go with the rainbow. Oh, that That's the number six, it is. <laughs> You love it? Yeah. Super cute. Now all we're gonna go find some cups and things that will match. Mommy, all, um, do you find some that have rainbows on them? <gasps> That's a good idea. So I always keep this plastic here folded up in the edge of my car because I got it from a garden center one time and I just keep it so that when I have to transport plants it doesn't get the bottom of my car all dirty. So we're home. I just unloaded my flowers and the party stuff but I'm kind of annoyed. Usually my Instacart order is like right on schedule and I knew it was supposed to be delivered between 12 and 1 but usually it's like they start shopping you know right on time and then it's usually a little bit early. But I don't know if it's because I have a much smaller order. I don't know because no one's even shopping for it right now because you can see on the app when the people start shopping. So it's already like 12, 20 and I was really hoping to just like drop everything off. My groceries would basically be here. I could put them away quick and then we want to actually run back to my parents' house and get a folding table to use for the party tomorrow to you know put the food on or just have like an extra table for people to sit at. So I need to go there. I should have got it yesterday, I know, but I wasn't even on my mind. So I need to run there. Luckily they're not too far away, so I can do that. So now we're kind of just killing time, and I know I should be painting the storm door, but now that I see the front door without a storm door, I'm kind of liking how it looks. So I don't know what I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna really stress about finishing it today. I would need to paint the frame around the door if I were to leave the storm door off cause it's like, you know, old paint. Um, but I don't know, I kinda like it without. So we'll see, we'll see where we end up with that. Uh, but I'm basically just killing time now and waiting which I don't like this feeling. So I'll probably go inside and find something to do. Uh, while I wait. The girls are just playing outside on the playset. 
So I'm gonna find something to do and wait for my groceries to come before we head back out. The groceries are on their way. They started shopping a little bit after I just said all that. So I just have been sweeping outside, just sweeping off our like front walkway. And I wanted to show you what we got at Party City. We got the pinata. And then to go with them, we got two different color plates to kind of coordinate. So these will be for lunch. These will be for dessert. These were in their their uh, Easter clearance, so I think they were only like a dollar. So we'll use those for our cupcakes that we make. And then their um, big bags of candy were three for 12. I don't know if that's a fantastic deal, but it seemed pretty decent. And then we'll use these to fill the pinata, and this will kind of be like their party favors also to bring home. And then I also just got um, plain plastic cups for like the adults that, that may want water. I'm gonna have water dispensers out. Um, but the kids are gonna have like little juice pouches that are going to be coming in my grocery order. Is this a good idea? Got a lot of candy in there to fill. <laughs> this candy just keeps coming and coming. Okay, here's what we got at Aldi. We're going to be doing hot dogs, which is something a friend of mine did at her birthday party and it's very smart. So we got hot dogs and buns. I'll explain that in a second. Strawberries, grapes. I have some other fruit. I'm probably gonna cut up that cantaloupe that's over there. And then we're gonna do like a fruit platter and then a veggie platter. So I got some tomatoes, but I also have cucumbers, carrots already in the refrigerator. And we'll have some ranch to dip in and also some hummus. And then we got these pretzel slims that you can also dip into the hummus or the ranch. Um, and then for the adults, they can have um, a hot dog, of course, or these mini croissants. I'm gonna do ham and cheese croissants for them if they would like that instead. And then we got two boxes of pouches, fruit punch and wild cherry. And then I got two packs of seltzer, again, for the adults, but we'll also have water with lemon if they would like that instead. <clears throat> First going to be best birthday ever. So with the hot dogs, my friend said she had a birthday party for her son a few months ago and she said her mother-in-law gave her this suggestion and she said it worked really well. So basically she roasted all of the hot dogs in the oven ahead of time, so like before the party started, and then put them in their buns, wrapped them all in tin foil, and just kept them warm in the oven so that by the time the kids come, the food is already ready. You don't have to be in the kitchen preparing anything because the fruits and veggies, I can prep all that in the morning and everything's like ready to go. They just grab a hot dog and you don't have to be in the kitchen at all. So that's really awesome, especially since the party is only 12 to two, it's only two hours. So I don't wanna spend, you know, even a half hour in the kitchen more than I have to. So I think that's gonna work out really well. And then they're gonna have just potato chips. Did I say that? I got plain potato chips and like a couple sides and then dessert we're gonna make, I'm gonna make some cupcakes. Um, so that's what we're gonna have for food. All right, it's like 10 to three. I'm all sweaty because I've been running around like crazy today. Uh, but Lara's napping. I put Luke down. I don't know if he's napping. I put him down awake, so we'll see how that goes. But he just hadn't really had a good nap today, so we'll see. He's quiet right now, so I'm hoping he just drifts off to sleep. Um, Evie was going to help me make cupcakes. We have everything out for it, but then I had to go put Luke down. So she just came in when I was nursing him and she was like, she had her fairy garden stuff and she's like, can I go play with this? I was like, yeah, sure. So she's outside making a fairy garden and I'm gonna be making some cupcakes. She said she wants chocolate cupcakes with chocolate frosting and then we have rainbow sprinkles to put on top. So that is what I'm gonna make for my little baby girl who's gonna be six years old. My first batch and a half of cupcakes should be done. But we are heading back out yet again. Um, we're gonna go to, we're gonna go to the library and go read to dogs. So I'm just gonna leave, I doubled this recipe, so I have a ton of batter left over. This is like a huge amount. So I already made, what is that, 18? And I'll probably get at least 18 more because we're gonna have a lot of people at this party because they're on spring break, so when I send the invitation, did I say this already? We're inviting like, you know, siblings to come to. So it's not only like, you know, the, the kid that's Evie's friend and then his mom, it's gonna be like extra siblings on top of that, which is wonderful. We're excited to have a lot of people um, and it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, so that's good. 
Uh, we just need to have enough food for everybody. So I'm just making a lot of cupcakes. So now that the batter's made, I can keep baking later after we get back. Back from the library, my cupcakes turned out delicious, I have to say. We all just sampled one and they were delicious. Yeah. I just threw some chicken in the oven to bake up for tacos tonight. I do 425 for 25 minutes. Very simple, I'm gonna shred it and do tacos for dinner. But this is my yet to do uh, list for the party tomorrow. We need to hang the pinata. I mean, some of these things we'll do tomorrow. Figure out some kind of stick to hit it with. Um, mow the front yard. I bought flowers, I just need to put them in pots. Clean our deck and t the tables, they're glass tables, so they're covered in pollen right now. But I'll wait till tomorrow morning to do that. Um, we wanna bring out the kids table from uh, the girls' room and the little chairs that we have because we have a lot of people coming, so we need extra seating. And then I have a folding table that I got from my parents, you guys saw, and then some tablecloths that I borrowed. And then I need to clean the bathroom. We need to get ice tomorrow. I need to finish my cupcakes and make icing, and then paint the doorway. So the front door. So I actually really like how the door, the front door is looking with the storm door off. And I texted a picture to Dan, and he's like, no, we need a storm door. So I'm like, all right, I know, I know. It's better to have it, you know, it's better insulation and all that. So, I was going to push myself to paint it today and just get it done. But he's like, why don't we just look into replacing it? Because the one we have is not super like energy efficient. It's actually pretty drafty and it's old and it's been painted. So after all that effort of taking it off, he's like, you know, why don't we just put something up that we actually want? So I do need to at least paint around the door, the front door, because there's like old paint that's like chipping and um, like the, stuff that I've painted. It just needs a fresh coat. So I do need to do that at some point today. It's already like 5.30. <laughs> so at some point I need to give a few coats onto that. Even if I'm doing it late at night, it's fine. We have, you know, a light out there so I can do that. But that's kind of everything we need to do. I need to finish baking these cupcakes. So once the chicken comes out, because the temperature is too hot right now to put in the cupcakes. Once that's done, um, I can throw in, you know, another dozen and a half cupcakes and then make the icing and then I just pulled these up from our basement I bought these drink dispensers I don't even know I think it was from Target a long time ago because we've had them for quite a few parties they're just plastic they were very inexpensive so we'll just fill that with water and lemon like I said so if the adults don't want a juice box they have water or seltzer but we do need to get ice for that but that's kind of where we're at right now. I need to fold laundry and put it away. The girls are outside. Again, this weather has just been fantastic. They don't even ask to watch anything. They just want to be outside and that's, that's all I can ask for. All right, it's just about 10. Kids are in bed. I don't know if they're all sleeping, but they're all in bed. Dishwasher is running. I am folding laundry, and Dan is working on cutting up some fruit. We're going to make a fruit platter and a veggie platter. We're gonna prep it all tonight as much as we can so that it's just ready to go in the morning. I still have to make icing for my cupcakes, and either, I'll probably ice them tomorrow. I think it's better if it's fresh, it won't get like crusty. Um, but there's a lot of things we still need to do tomorrow, so I think I'm just going to call it a vlog here and I will be with you guys tomorrow sharing how we set up for the party and all the preparations that go into a little two hour birthday party for a six year old. It's a lot more than you would think, I'm, at least for me because I, it's not just about the party for me, like I want the house to look nice and I definitely you know, pit, throw in a few extra projects that weren't really a project to begin with, like painting the trim on our door, which I did. I did give it a couple coats of white paint, so I don't know if I need to do a third coat tomorrow. We'll see what it looks like in the morning, because I was painting in the dark. But we like got the sunroom cleaned out, so everything looks nice, and we're excited to have, um, you know, friends and family over for a little get together. So I'll be talking to you guys tomorrow. Bye.